All right, this is my reaction to the new Super Mario Bros. movie trailer. After we, we watch it once, we're gonna go through and do a little analysis and some further commentary. Exciting intro thus far. Bowser, baby. Looks like he's anchoring down. But where is this place? <laughs> he's destroying some stuff. The mech. The king of the Koopas. Oh, nice. It's looking good. <laughs> Open the gates. That's a good voice, Jack Black. The penguins? <laughs> that is but a taste of our fury. <laughs> do you yield? <laughs> I do not. <laughs> you can kind of see Jack Black's personality uh, in the face. Oh my gosh. Dude, he's destroying the penguins. I finally found it. Now who's gonna stop me? <laughs> Mario's here. Oh, it looks gorgeous. What is this place? Do not touch that mushroom, you die! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that one's perfectly fine. Come on, Mario! Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. <laughs> that voice is fine. I'm excited about this. I think they did it right. Oh, Luigi, what's, wait. Okay, we'll replay that. Where was Luigi going? Okay, so we're gonna play it again and then kind of go through and do a little bit of analysis. Like, I'm I'm not an expert on all things Mario. I love the games, of course. I played several of them. So I'm not gonna know like every single little Easter egg or reference. But what I wanna do is go through and just comment on some of the stuff that I've noticed in more detail. We can pause the video, we can take some time. I, I wanna say first off, I'm excited about this movie because I love to see Nintendo succeed. You know, I've been a huge fan of Nintendo ever since I was a kid. And of course, what they have now is they have they have a thriving video game business with the Switch and all the games that they have. They have a lot of big name properties, you know, Mario, Zelda, Donkey Kong, Splatoon, all that stuff that now could be developed into movies, especially since they've made their own movie studio. Uh, and so I, this is in partnership with Illumination. I don't know what their future plans are, but you know, you know, Marvel has its own studio now essentially, and Nintendo could very well do that in the future. Nintendo's opening theme parks within Universal Studios and um, like, and I'm just excited about what the future holds for them. And so um, if this movie is a success, it means great things for Nintendo, more future projects. It means maybe even bigger and better games. Who knows what they're gonna do to expand their empire. Okay, so first off, this, I guess these are the penguins from, you know, everyone knows the penguins from Mario, especially Mario 64. You can throw them off a cliff and stuff. So they're introducing the penguins as having their own town of sorts. And Bowser has his own, not just airship, but his whole like freaking island that he's bringing around. That's pretty interesting in and on itself. And of course, you know, I thought when Bowser speaks, Jack, Bla Jack Black did a great voice. Behold, the king the Koopas the look Koopas. great. I think the Koopas look great here. Uh, you know, they, I'll pause it here. One thing that they have, that Tindo has, is that they already have excellent designs, especially in the latest games. You know, they have fully fleshed out designs. I don't know if they just weren't movie quality um, or, or what, but I think they're pretty good. And so obviously they had to do some sort of redesign and these redesigns stay pretty true uh, to what we're used to seeing. There are subtle differences. You know, Mario looks a little bit different. Uh, Bowser looks a little bit different. And I think it's mostly in the facial features and stuff. Open the gates. I can see Jack Black's personality and Jack Black's face a little bit within Bowser. I don't know if that was, I mean, it's probably intentional. So here are the penguins here. And uh, <laughs> you can tell this movie's gonna be funny because of the scene, you know? This is, I think the scene is pretty funny. Bowser, 
to me that that profile like if we take a look if we go back really quick that profile image right there of bowser reminds me of like a face that jack black might make so again i feel like they probably brought in a little bit of the personality i'm not sure that but, is but a taste of our fury <laughs> do you yield <laughs> <laughs> I do not. <laughs> and that sounds like Jack Black right there. And there was a scene floating around of him doing the voice at one of the conventions. And he just like totally decimates the penguin's habitat there. Found it. Okay, let's go back here really quick because this to me looks like a superstar. Found. Maybe it's a power star, uh, but he's looking for this. It seems to be like the one and only is what they're conveying uh, instead of, you know, multiples that are typically found throughout the, the games. So in the movie, I don't know if this superstar or power star or whatever you want to call it is going to be elevated to something like really big, something coveted. Now who's going to stop me? Classic music. And here comes Mario. The graphics look great here. Mario's face looks a little bit different than I'm used to seeing. You know, he looks, uh, I can't really describe, I can't pinpoint it. He doesn't look as cartoony, if that makes sense. He looks a little more human, I think, than, uh, you know, the latest games. And his voice, to me, doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Like, yeah, it's Chris Pratt, but is this place? that's not a bad voice. You know, I know that obviously there's a Mario voice actor. I haven't heard it pronounced, so it's Charles Mar Martinet, Martinet. Don't know how it's pronounced, but he's still involved in the movie in some fashion. I don't know if he's going to be thrown in like like, like a little like yahoos or, or whatever there is. But obviously, you know, if they want Mario to have more of a voice, more of a speaking role, you know, personally, I liked it in the games where he doesn't speak much. He just kind of says, oh, you know, but if they want Mario to be like a main character who speaks and talks and stuff like that, uh, then it makes sense for him to have maybe a more standard voice, you know, nothing that's like just constantly making like chirps and like woohoo, you know, like all the time. Uh, obviously, Mario had a more normal voice in the old cartoon and the live action Mario movie. Uh, so to me, I think that this Chris Pratt voice is fine. Yes, it sounds like Chris Pratt, but we'll see. We'll see how it ends up. We'll, we'll get more footage eventually. Do not I'm sorry, <laughs> that one's perfectly fine. Now that is Keegan-Michael Key uh, from, of course, Key and Peele. And uh, to me, like, I don't know that I'd be able to recognize his voice without knowing that it was him. So obviously he's doing a voice. I'm not so sure that Chris Pratt is doing much of a voice different from his own. Hi, Mario! Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. <laughs> so I don't know that that voice is like anything, any major departure from his voice. I want to hear more of that voice just to see if he does like any sort of inflection on it. It almost sounds like Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. You know, like, I don't know. I don't know. I can't do it. I'm not a voice actor. But look at the look at the visual beauty here. Tons of toadstools or mushrooms or whatever you want to call them throughout Mushroom Kingdom. And of course, Princess Peach's castle in the background. So many questions. How does Bowser, you know, meet Mario? And how does Bowser play into this? We also know that Donkey Kong is in this movie, played by Seth Rogen. And so, you know, we'll see more of this as more information comes out. For now, this is what we got. I'm glad. I'm excited. I don't find anything horrible about this. Uh, you know, I'm, I think it's going to be great. Yeah. The Super Mario Bros. movie. Good title. Nintendo and Illumination together. And here is the cast. And this is so cool. This looks like some Luigi's Mansion stuff. But I don't think that's a mansion. Let's actually backtrack because we can do that. Uh, this looks just like a castle. Like maybe one of the... Uh, I don't know if it's... I don't know if that will be Bowser's castle, but it's some some sort of castle. It doesn't look like a haunted mansion at all. Uh, so, yeah. But still, I think it looks pretty good. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, he's just trying to get in the castle. But that image evokes, you know, him trying to close the door, get through the door or whatever. That evokes, to me, Luigi's Mansion, which I'm a huge fan of. Uh, but, of course, if this video is successful, maybe we'll see a Luigi's Mansion movie. Maybe we'll see a, a Donkey Kong movie, all that stuff. I want to go back one more time just to take a look at this cast list. There's a cast list, and you can see Charles Martinet, Martinet, I don't know how to pronounce it, is still in there. He's, he's going to be providing some sort of voices, and I imagine it's going to supplement Chris Pratt's voice. That would be my guess, is that he's still going to have the woohoos and stuff, the iconic Mario sounds that you're used to. Uh, but for more firm speaking and sentences and stuff, that's just going to be Chris Pratt. That's my guess. I don't know that for sure, 
but that's my guess. And let's see that Luigi scene again. <laughs> April 7th. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. It's also in 3D. I probably will just prefer 2D. But I'm excited about the future of Nintendo uh, movies, the Nintendo franchises that they have. And, of course, what that means, if this does super well, what that means for Nintendo as a game company as a whole. So that's my reaction. Uh, let me know what your reaction is in the comments below. I know a lot of people still have a problem with the Chris Pratt voice. That's not me. I don't really. I know that it has to be a little bit different. But, hey, let's see how it turns out in the long term. April 7th is when we'll get to see it in full. Like I said, I'll be there. Thank you for watching my reaction, and I'll see you next time for more. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this.